back here at Nomad RVs in Tom's River, New Jersey. Today, Steve is gonna give us a tour of a client build sprinter camper van creation with a hidden shower. Also, Nomad RVs is one of the fastest growing craft van builders on the East Coast, and they just became RVIA certified. So Steve's gonna tell us a little bit about that as well. So join us for the tour. Patrick, appreciate you having me back. Can't wait to show you this client build. This has a ton of features going on. We're gonna show you this table on the way out because what's going on inside is just crazy. So this is a 2023 170 wheelbase Sprinter. This has a ton of features from the factory like we always order. This was a client bought van, but it was a, um, we hooked them up with our dealership, got all the options we always order like the factory swivel seats, 10 and quarter screen, navigation, so on and so forth. Above it, we installed the Van Wife Components headliner shelf. That's gonna come with a curtain rod if you wanna do a quick overnight while you're traveling somewhere. It's also gonna come with Van Essential window covers. You can see one on the driver's door there. They're insulated and blackout. On the other side is black, this side is cool gray. You also have Van Essentials bug screen, rolled up now for the video. This drops all the way down and you'll see the one in the back too. On the floor, you got Vinyl flooring, 100% waterproof. Below that is three quarter inch plywood. Below that is half inch polyiso insulation. Super rigid floor, works out great for all our clients. You got your lagoon mount here. It's gonna work both tables, uh, both seats rather. It's also gonna work if you're hanging out on the bench. This bench I'm gonna touch on a little bit later in the video. We're gonna walk around everything first and swing back to it with some cool stuff hidden in there. You got your flip up countertop. Same width as the countertop, flush across the top there. Perfect to bring it down. The outlet that was down there, just so you can have a cooktop on the outside table. Again, we'll show that as we go around. Massive sink. I think this one's 15 by 19. Super big, super deep. All the great stuff inside there for drying racks and cutting boards. You got a drinking faucet. You also have your obviously your regular faucet and then a soap dispenser that fills from the top so you don't have to unscrew it from the bottom. All our vans come with the single burner induction cooktop. We don't build them in, so you can use them on this side, the other side, outside, wherever you want, just more options. Going down the cabinet layout down here, got a little spots for sponges. You got your sink, just climb with the gray tank underneath. Extra storage in there. You got a pantry. Plenty of storage in all these drawers here for the pantry. Individually pull out. This is a set of drawer banks. All nice and deep. This one here is super gigantic for all your big stuff. Then we did they could tell a ton of storage. You got another drawer down here. You got a little door down here for more storage. This is a step we'll show you in a little bit. This one here, deep storage again. She has a dog, that's gonna be the dog food spot, probably another toys for that. The pup. You got an overhead storage. You got a shelf. Probably for a plant, who knows what else. Then you got a massive wardrobe. Shelf above, hanging inside. And then access to plumbing. And actually all these drawers can come out and you can access any plumbing if ever needed to. The ceiling in this van, quarter inch cedar. Above that is the Thinsulate. As in the topic is Thinsulate, we do double in the walls, single in the ceiling. Get you a great R factor on that. You know. This is a Max Air fan. You can see one of the covers. You got a massive broad arrow window. These have a bug screen. They have blackout curtain. You can split them. Acrylic, great stuff. She wanted a, two different heights. That way she can stand um, and work from the computer if need be. But you have inside here is like a charging drawer. Keep some of the stuff out of the way. Another drawer. This client wanted the door to swing to there for a little bit of privacy. She wanted to be able to face the back of the van. But this is where you got a composting toilet in here. Little um, storage back there, toilet paper, reading material, maybe a game. You got your Dometic stainless steel 110 liter fridge with a little freezer above it. This thing can pull out if you ever have heater troubles because the heater is underneath. That vents out in the front here and also vents out in the garage. We'll show you that when we get back there. And then yet another drawer. And then next to it, two big storage areas. This was originally going to be kept open, but we added a door for 
that'll change in the end. You got access to your garage from the inside. Nice big pass through. That's a 500 pound step. Realistically, maybe three to 350 pounds to be safe. Though we did use every hole there is possible for mounting, so it really shouldn't go anywhere, but um, no one's really gonna be 500 pounds just inside this van, I imagine. Client wanted an open shelf here instead of all three doors, so we left that open for her. Then you got your two additional roof lockers up top. Across the back wall, you have USB, you have a cigarette port, in case you don't have USB, maybe it's USB-C and stuff like that. You got your 110 outlet, even more ports for items. You got your Victron screen, that's where you're gonna see all your power, what's going in, what's going out, what's happening. You're gonna see your wastewater and your gray water. Everything's gonna be in there. And this is the controller for the heater. So if you look up, we have a 12 volt Dometic RTX 2000 air conditioning. Super efficient on eco mode, it's pulling like 20 amps. Even on auto, it's like 40 to 45. We'll talk about the power in the back, but this bed has a ton of power. This is a queen size bed, 60 by 75, so it's considered an RV short. You got your night lights on the driver's side. These have additional USBs inside them too. Um, additional broad arrow windows for ton of airflow. You can see more roof locker storage going on over here. On the passenger side, two big deep ones. We even have a 12 volt fan that can swivel around. Those little guys are rubber so you won't get hurt. It has a timer on it. There's an additional USB outlet on the back there in case she wants to hang more lights throughout, little fairy lights. And then lastly, what I wanna show you the inside is just what's underneath this big bench. So you got Sunbrella fabric, showing with a nice bold color. This flips up super easy. You got a little lockable latch there. Now that's out of the way. Again, additional deep storage. This van has probably more storage than we've ever done in any vehicle. Inside the shower pan, it's a fiberglass pan, goes down into a 20 gallon, 20 gallon gray tank. You have your regular household uh, shower faucet diverter, and then you have an RV wand, because that's gonna have an on off button for you, so while you're showering. The magnets we put on the ceiling already, where you just grab your shower curtain, you can see all the all the rings are pre-installed and they're going to line up around to everything and then you're ready to shower. Super easy. You can let that outside to dry and then put it back inside there and have no issues. And then also for the shower curtain, there's two spring clamps. You can clamp it up if you want a little more elbow room for a little bit bigger person too. Like me. So on the outside, you got this sweet little table. It's got plenty. This is a stainless steel hinge. You got yourself a little cinch here so if you're at a level not nearly that much but you have a little bit of play to get yourself going to get that level depending where you're parked an easy latch to close that up flatline vanco roof rack that's housing 525 watts of solar in addition you could add an awning if you ever wanted to you got your a am auto sliding window has a screen on the inside backland expedition gear insulated pods we always get them um, what they call indie liner just a bed liner but it, I mean, strong as can be, awesome stuff. Factory windows here. We mentioned the Van Essentials um, bug screen. So this is half, you know, blackout for storage, half bug screen. You can drop down that blackout curtain for a quick overnight if you wanted to. There is insulated covers for the blackouts for the windows in the back. And then you got your garage. So let's start on the driver's side. These are your lights for inside of boxes if you ever get inside them. This is your switch for your heated gray water tank. This is additional ways to see from the back. You see your gray tank's empty, fresh tank's got about 26%. It's a 30 gallon fresh tank in there. Then you can see your battery voltage too. You've pressed black, there is no black tank, so that's disabled. Venting for all your batteries. You got an additional light up top here. And then you have access ports. So if you want to ever get into see everything, access everything, you can do it from inside there. That one down there is going to be direct access to 12 volt um, fuses. That one up there is going to be direct access to the 110 uh, breaker box. You can see the additional heater port. So you got a heated garage. We do um, slatted bed systems. So your bed's nice and warm if you're doing camping in the winter time. As far as power goes, we have 600 amp hours of lithium and Dora power, 10 year warranty on them. Everything else is pretty much Victron components, the 12 3000 watt inverter. It's an inverter charger. We'll show you the charger on the other side, the short power. Um, you got your 60 amp DC to DC charger, and then so on and so forth, Blue C and Victron components on the inside there, but plenty of power for what's going on in here. 
On this side is your plumbing bay. This is drop down gives you access for one additional storage. That could be like a short power cord, water hose, so on and so forth. You got a way to winterize it, access for fuel, because this is a gas fan with an SPAR S2 D2 heater, which is good to like 10,000 elevation, just under like 9,800 feet. Underneath this port here, that's going to give you access to valves, the water heater if you want to change. It's a 12 volt water heater, uh, two and a half gallons. We import them from Australia. And then we also have your gravity fill up here, underneath this one here. That's where you're going to fill the diesel, nice and easy. Plenty of space we gave to get the nozzle in there. And then you got an outdoor shower, both hot and cold water. The faucet's here for that, the hook up there, spray off the dog, spray off yourself if you don't want to use the big shower. So around on the driver's side, you got your shore power hook up here that hangs out in the door. It hooks up right inside here. And the reason we do 30 amps is because this screws on. We like that a lot better. And then you can hook up your 10-3 electric cord extension from here. Use about a 25 footer, get you to every spot on all the campgrounds anyway. So that concludes this customer's build. Hope you enjoyed it. Build, she supplied the van, was about $64,000 at the time of filming. If you want to reach out to us, nomad underscore rvs on instagram or nomadrvs.com they use a way to contact us and moving forward we're doing rvia certified builds so that was important to us to get that certification just so everyone even though we built those standards and better but now we're certified it's proven um, it's for your safety it's so you can get easy loans uh, easy insurance it's jd power you have uh, valuations so you'll be able to trade it in if you ever want to there'll be a seal on every vehicle we do that's certified and they're going to come out to us constantly about eight times or so a year to inspect us making sure we're building so their standards are better and everyone is in compliance that is awesome news steve because you know as an rv craft builder it's nice that you would now have a standard so you know what you're building meets the rv standards correct so now it is technically an rv so they could go to campgrounds that only allow 100%. rvs uh, and you know they could trade it and that that's all excellent stuff yeah, i enjoyed your journey and how much you've grown in the last couple of years and it's going fast i look forward to some more tours this is patrick with new jersey's outdoor adventures youtube channel thanks for joining us